Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today I'm going to do a video on how I'm going to turn two PlayStation controllers that I randomly found in my basement in a storage bin sitting in there for over 10 years and how I'm going to turn those two random items that normally would be donated or sold at a garage sale. I'm going to take these two random PlayStation controllers and turn it into silver. So I'm going to be documenting how I do it on eBay. I'm going to then do a follow up video showing what I sold it for, what the alt, alt end profit was, and then take that profit and use it to buy silver. So a little different, but I'll try and be as streamlined as possible. And I promise I will not give you financial advice because I'm tired of hearing that on all these other channels. Anyways, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so I'm going to try and take these two PlayStation con controllers and turn it into silver. Do you think on the high end, I'd like to turn it into a silver eagle? Now you're probably saying like, dude, that's a lot, right? Silver eagles are easily over 30 bucks nowadays. Um, I picked this one up for $27.50. And I did a video on it too. And I bought it from eBay. And it's real. I do have it listed. But I'm going to try and... You know, with the profits of these two controllers, be awesome to get a Silver Eagle. I don't think I will, though. I don't think these controllers are worth that much. Um, maybe I can purchase a Philharmonic with it. Uh, I got this for 25 bucks. I think they're closer to 26 now with the premiums going up and the Silver Spot going up. But this would be like second place. If I can get enough profit from selling two random things that I've already owned, that I already paid for, Probably over 15 years ago. I don't even know how old the PlayStation 2 is. Uh, my third choice might be a bar. So here's a random uh, Atmex bar. Uh, these are around 30 bucks. I'm more into coins, though. You know me, guys. Um, worst case, or second to worst case, I'll be able to get a, uh, a Kennedy. It would be awesome if it was BU because that's close to 15 bucks um, or a junk version. Junk version is probably like I don't know, 11 bucks. Or pick up a couple Cully Culleton quarters that are silver. Hear the, hear the silver sound? Love that sound. So that's my goal. I was just randomly going to my basement looking for something. I'm like, wow, look at I came across these two controllers. I'm like, let's do a video and show people how to turn random stuff around their house into silver because nobody's done that. All right, so let me get to my um, laptop screen and I'll show you how to list these. But first, but first, 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 get this stuff out of the way. This is how I do my pictures. It helps to have a light box, and if you don't own one, I highly recommend you get one. They're not very expensive. I think I paid like 50 bucks for this giant light box, and it's been working perfectly fine for the past um, couple years now. So this would be my picture number one. Actually, I'd probably go like that. That would probably be my picture number one, tilting the controllers up, having them rest on their cables. So that would be picture one, picture two. Do the backs, picture three, do the backs like this, picture four, show them like this, picture five, then do each individual one showing this is a legit Sony one, picture six, picture seven, and then picture eight, picture nine, and picture 10 showing the damage on the controller. Don't hide anything. All right, let's go to my laptop. Okay, I'm on my eBay homepage, and I am selling a PlayStation 2 controller. So play Station 2 Blue Controller. And it already pops up. And I've got the Ocean Blue one. So it looks like a decent one sells for around 28 bucks. Not bad. But that doesn't mean shoot. You always got to look at the solds right so solds first we gotta do probably gonna put some parameters in our used one and let's look at solds uh so maybe 30 bucks on the high side this one's in pretty nice condition see original listing and what made this guy special 
He only took three photos. He sold it for 30 bucks with free shipping. Shipping's probably going to be close to 10 bucks for something like this, believe it or not. Um, I don't think you can get away under a pound. So I think with the box and everything, especially well, with my two controllers, I'm going to be over a pound. So I'm going to be at least nine bucks in shipping. So it's good to see that that's 30. And then the other item uh, is an Intech PlayStation. Oops, Intech PlayStation. Man, I can't spell. It's hard to do this live. PlayStation. L. Which one's the L? <laughs> there it is. PlayStation 2 controller. All right. That one doesn't look that expensive, but again, there's a bunch of random ones, wireless. So I'm going to say it's $10, maybe $15 in value. All right. So I am now going to create a listing. So... The best way to do that is to go to someone that already has sold one successfully and you go to sell one like this. Whoops. Um, or you can go to the main thing and it's right, there's a little icon right here. It says sell now. And then I will sell one like this. And I'm not going to walk you through all this. So let me fast forward. Okay. So I've created my listing. So let me show you what that looks like. So I've uploaded my photos. So here's my photos. That's photo one, photo two, photo three, photo four, five, six, seven, and eight, and nine with the damage. So don't want to hide anything. Uh, so those are the photos, which I took with my cell phone, which is the same exact thing I'm recording on right now. And again, I do not edit my videos. I might just pause them. You obviously want to have a good description. So this one is PlayStation 2 blue controller. This is the model number. I didn't even look that up. That's just what the other guy had. And then I said, and Intech turbo bonus. So anyway, someone's going to see this photo. They're going to see there's two controllers. Um, all this stuff's kind of pre-filled. I really don't care about it because that's not that important. Um, condition, uh, description, uh, they literally have been sitting in a storage bin for 15 years and photo of the actual items you receive controllers work. Here's the, this in tech controller is a turbo deal. Then I put best deal on eBay, you get two working controllers for under 30 bucks. So, oh, for 30 bucks, not under and shipping so the box is one pound eight ounces i did measure 12 by 9 by 5 and then you select your carriers i like to do usps parcel ground priority and then if they want it faster there's a priority flat rate envelope i don't really put um express on something like this and i will never offer free shipping because sometimes you do that you have no idea what it weighs or you think, oh, it'd be like three, two or three bucks. And then you realize it was like $15 and you sold the item for $15 and you made zero money. So don't ever do free shipping. That's stupid. Especially when the post office is constantly messing with the rates. So when you do this on eBay, eBay calculates the payments uh, for you based on who's buying it. And that's why there's a range here. So 728 would probably be like someone else that lives in Illinois or Wisconsin or, you know, surrounding state. Some, if it's $10.85, that's probably me shipping it to Hawaii or California or even Alaska. So, or even Puerto Rico. Uh, so that's that, uh, no handling costs. Um, I do knock them out same business day. So I'll get the package out right away. I'm not promoting the listing, but if I wanted to, eBay would charge me an additional 6.3%. I bet you with controllers, I bet you there's already charging me 10%. So what that means, since eBay does handle the payments, if I got $30 for this item and the buyer is going to pay their own shipping, eBay is going to charge me at least three bucks, but they do handle the payments. So they handle the payment processing from the buyer's end. So whether the buyer is using a credit card, PayPal, eBay bucks, whatever they're using to buy it, eBay handles that. It processes, and then that lets me know, boom, your buyer has paid for the item. Here's your money. But they don't give me the money right away. Sometimes it might take a day or two. So that's that. And 
I will hit uh, revise it, which normally would be list it. And now my listing is live. So when someone's searching for some PlayStation 2 controller, they're going to see mine. They're going to see it's 30 bucks. I think it's a good deal. Yes, there are other people at, you know, asking 20 bucks for their controller, but it's just one. I'm giving them two. So that is my plan. So this is going to end this video. Please like, share, subscribe. I will promise, I promise I will do a follow-up video when this item sells, whether it sells tomorrow, two days, three days. I'll keep dropping the price until it sells. So... Once this item sells, I will then show you my profit and then what I end up using that profit for and buying a coin on eBay. So I think that'll be a little fun. So again, appreciate you guys watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.